everyone I trust you are all well we are back at the allotment and this is Derek's pumpkin patch and you can't really see them when you look at it like this but when you move the leaves you are rewarded <laughs> look at that a nice big pumpkin and next to it is some squash I can't tell if they gem squash but it's like a maze. The more you go in and you have a look, the more you find. Um, but yeah, there's a lovely big pumpkin there. Um, the first one of this lot that's got this big. But there's pumpkins, squashes, and even gem squash. And if you are from Zimbabwe, um, you will know how we all love our gem squash. It's an amazing squash. But the bees are absolutely loving this patch, as you can imagine. We're in the greenhouse again, and can you see how big these tomatoes have gone in a week? They're starting to get some color on them, so it won't be too long before they start. They're ready to be eaten. <laughs> Amazing tomatoes. I wish that I could um, bottle the smell for you. Because uh, tomatoes have a known amazing fragrance that yeah it's just fresh absolutely fresh but yeah there's clusters of them everywhere now you see them of all these tomatoes We have new crops this week coming up and on this bed is some gem squash. This bed is near the cabbage one but I've just spotted one. Like the pumpkins, they hide. You can see them. There it is. And there's a few of them coming up. So more or less where there's a flower, you will get the gem squash. And we absolutely love them. Our granddaughter loves them. Um, Son's girlfriend Holly loves them. <laughs> We're all hooked on these, they're the best ever. But yeah, it's looking lovely, loads of flowers popping up, um, which means that will be a good harvest. Are you rocking? Yeah. Rocky, rocky. The allotment is not just for us, it's for our grandchild as well, and soon to be grandchildren. <laughs> So we absolutely love coming here. So we're here today on a day when we have her and Derek just wanted me to zoom in on his pride and joy at the minute. The... Oh! Get my words out! <laughs> the cabbage! You see how big the heads are gone now? He's picked a couple more over this past week and we will come and pick a couple more. But we definitely do not want the slugs or anybody to have them after we've had such a good harvest. So yeah, we'll be keeping an eye on them and picking them more. I think we'll finally get them all out this coming week. Awesome. Cucumbers which have only just started to get a little bit bigger. There's two nice big ones and there's quite a lot of little ones coming up as you can see. And these ones are outside. Usually I don't plant them outside. I plant them in the greenhouse. But this time I decided to just give it a try and they're doing okay. okay let's... I found another pumpkin in, his, in this pumpkin patch at the back. Um, and there's more than one. They're just everywhere. And in different stages of growing. This one is a little smaller. And like I said, from when you look at them from the top, but they are there and they are hidden inside different colors different shapes when you lift a leaf you are given a lovely surprise and there's a small one down here so they are there it's what's nice is that there are different stages that they're all not growing at the same pace so which is brilliant so we can have harvest for a long time at different stages of harvesting Yeah. One step, three steps, three steps, four. 
Derek is about to harvest his first onion and they are gone massive people. All right, babe, I'm ready. <laughs> Big onions. There's so many I'm of them. Those, I'm getting all those that have fallen over. So, let's get another big one there. Come on, darling. We have some right here. That one's good. That one wasn't ready to come out. <laughs> all at different stages. background you can hear our granddaughter absolutely loving life oh my goodness so excited we planted the lemongrass from a shoot that we bought in the supermarket and look at it it's growing it's in the greenhouse and i think that's why it's growing so well i'm sure what i'm going to do I'll go, and i'll go find your strawberry in a minute Derek is about to dig up some potatoes and here they come here they come. Oh, wow. They look good. It always surprises me how you can start off with one potato that you put in the ground and then you end up with so many potatoes. And that was just from one potato. Look how many you're getting. So all these potatoes grew from one potato and I always think it's so absolutely wonderful that one potato can produce all of these and potatoes can be grown in anything people they don't have to be grown in the ground they can be in a bucket they can be in a you can get a plastic and put them in a in a pot a flower pot and grow them you can grow them in so many ways and I would encourage you all to have a go at them uh, you don't have to live in a big house, they can be on a veranda. Yeah, absolutely awesome, honestly. Try them. Try them, people. Did you find those strawberry? You did. You did. Ooh, the black berries are back. Let's go wash it. Like I always say, find your happy place. This people is Derek's happy place. And that's the end of this episode and we will be back. Say bye. Like I always say, find your happy place people. <laughs> and this is clearly Derek's happy place. <laughs> <laughs>